Greetings. This is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, trend update, ISIS kicked out of Mosul. And we've got July 6, 2017 scripture references from the prophet Nahum. And the book of Nahum is essentially regarding the judgment of what is modern day Mosul or ancient Nineveh. Uh, Nahum 3 verse 1, Woe to the bloody city, completely full of lies and pillage, her prey never departs. Nahum 3, verse 3, horsemen charging, swords flashing, spears gleaming, many slain, a mass of corpses and countless dead bodies. They stumble over the dead bodies. And here we are, July 6, 2017, roughly nine months later from the beginning of hostilities. ISIS appears to be on their way out of town. The Mosul offensive to liberate ancient Nineveh began in October 2016. The goal was to rid the city of ISIS, or Daesh. In January of 2017, eastern Mosul was controlled by the Iraqis. ISIS was left only on the west side of the Tigris River. One month later in February, the battle for western Mosul began, and the toll on the city has been great. Um... Devastation has been tremendous with thousands of lives lost. Tens of thousands of citizens have been displaced. Water and food shortages are at critical levels. Health care supplies have dwindled as well as the number of caregivers. And property losses are reported to be in the billions with a B. Now, uh, news began to leak early in the day. This would have been 7.10 p.m. Iraqi time, close to roughly noon in the United States. Uh, Iraqi forces were having a successful day against ISIS. And at the time, only two small pockets of resistance were noted. And these are the two pockets that are noted in the red. Uh, One of those is on the western shore of the Tigris, up here in the northeast corner of the old city. And a second was located in the heart of the old city. And you can follow these things on Twitter. I've got a link uh, from Twitter for this particular tweet at Iraqi Day. You can check that out if you'd like. And, you know, the bottom line is there are still going to be pockets of fighting. Uh, You know, for example, ISIS fighters are reported to be shaving their beards and trying to escape the city. And there are also reports that ISIS is currently using has been using their own children as human shields to the bitter end. So they're not, they're still not playing nice, but they're, they're done. Uh, And then this broke later in the day. This was at about six o'clock U.S. time, central time, seven o'clock Eastern time. Multiple independent journalists um, are beginning to indicate ISIS has been eradicated from Mosul. And this is at Mosul I reporting that Mosul has been fully captured. And this is a map from SyrianCivilWarMap.com. And they are indicating the Iraqi government is in full control. Also that came out, this came out at about 6.30, about 30 minutes later. And this is from uh, the Danish reporter Chris Thompson of the independent publication Al Mazdar News has tweeted out the following. And also I think it's important to point out that uh, Al Mazdar News is not associated with the Syrian government. A lot of people think that, but this guy's an independent reporter. And he tweets out a bunch of reports coming in indicating Mosul has been 100% liberated moments ago and expecting Haider al-Abadi, the Iraqi prime minister, speech tomorrow. So it would appear uh, that Mr. Al-Abadi is going to give a speech tomorrow, July 7, with the announcement that ISIS is out. So I think you want to stay tuned to this. Uh, It appears to be pretty straightforward. All major media sources are reporting that essentially ISIS's end is imminent, and we got some independent journalists starting to make the claim. Uh, So keep your eyes open. Stay tuned. And appreciate you guys uh, listening. Uh, Key words, ISIS, Mosul, Nineveh, Daesh, Iraq. Thanks for listening. Take care.